Okay, welcome to day number one of vlogging almost every day until, well, I'm not really sure. It doesn't matter. What does matter is that I have two very specific reasons for doing this. They are very specific and I will tell you what they are right now. Number one, I need the content. Uh, YouTube is going to throttle all of my videos until I show them that I can make content on a consistent basis. And number two is that ever since I was a boy, just a tender aged middle schooler, I told myself I would have a YouTube channel. I would have something that people could watch and, and would come to enjoy. And I do, I mean, I do have a YouTube channel, but it's not exactly the big thriving community that I told myself it would be when I was a kid. So that brings me to my first of two issues with this whole vlogging everyday thing. Number one, I have no self-discipline. I am terrible at sticking to any kind of schedule, especially a content schedule, and even more especially when it's content for myself. Doing something for somebody else, no problem. I, I can post stuff every week. I can get in there and shoot documentaries for you. I can travel across the world, no big deal. For me, nothing. If you were to take a look at all the content that was on this channel before I took it down, you would see posts that were three, six, nine, even a year's worth of time apart. It's not nearly enough consistency for YouTube to say, hey, this channel's relevant and this guy's worth watching here, let me recommend him to you. I know that that's the problem. Why does that even matter though? Why do I care about getting recommended? It's because I have these big ideas, these things that I think are important and that I think people would like to see, but I know that they never will because of my own laziness. And that brings us to the second issue. Number one is the fact that I'm horribly inconsistent and lazy. And number two is that, well, it's this. It's what we're doing right here. This talking head stuff is so boring. It's boring for you to watch, it's boring for me to make. And if I'm gonna make a vlog every day, if we're being honest, it would be the easiest thing to do. But I just don't think it's important or impressive enough. I mean, sure, we could sit down and talk about some deeply philosophical ideas and it might be enriching to a few people who can actually sit through it, but I know that most of the population has the attention span of a goldfish, myself included. So how do we fix this? How do we come up with something that is both interesting and piques your curiosity and can be put out quickly and efficiently every single day, but also doesn't involve me just sitting here talking at you for however long. I'm not totally sure, but I think we can try to figure something out. My thoughts when I sat down to design this series of vlogs were that I wanted to create something that didn't bore me to make and didn't bore you to watch. I was sitting there racking my brain trying to figure out what would be interesting, what hasn't been done, and then it kind of hit me. What if I made vlogs in a series, not just standalone vlogs, but something that had a continuing storyline? Sorry, the sirens are going crazy out there. I wonder what's happening. Something that had some, some intrigue, some, some curiosity to it, something that created anticipation. Because curiosity and anticipation are the antithesis of boredom, and that's exactly what I'm hoping to create. So how do you go about creating curiosity and anticipation in a daily vlog? I don't know, if I were to pick up my camera right now and turn it around and show you that we're up really high, and then I were to lean it over and just cut. Hmm. Sorry. Yeah. If I just cut, right? You would feel slighted. You would feel jilted. You would think there's something missing. You led me up to this high place and you peer over the edge and you're expecting something to happen. That's the anticipation. And you're wondering what's going to come next. That's the curiosity. Or in other words, it's suspense. You can build suspense in a lot of ways. Take a look at the shot of this abandoned building that I got, and I'm gonna add some context clues to make you feel that curiosity and that anticipation and really, really sink in the suspense.
Okay, so I get that that was a seemingly abandoned place and I added music and sound effects to make it feel more suspenseful, but how do you bring that to something like a daily vlog? How do you add that kind of drama, that kind of interest to something like this? In my mind, there's one tactic that I think storytellers have been using forever to really draw people in. It's something that hooks you, that makes it so that you can't get away, that you wanna come back and watch more and more. And it's so simple and it's so easy. All I have to do is right at the very end of the video, just add a 